Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Please excuse the way that I sound. I am getting over a cold that has caused me to go into several asthma related attacks. Um, coughing all of that up out of my lungs has not been very, very good. Um, so please just, I'm sorry that my voice sounds this way. I'm going to try to get through this unboxing and maybe two more later on in the day. But I really, really, really had to get this one out. This is the October Fall Halloween Nick box. Um, I absolutely love this company. I love this box in general. Um, it's a lot of 90s nostalgia for me personally because I grew up watching Nickelodeon in the 90s. And I still kind of watch it now. Um, I do know that they are bringing Are You Afraid of the Dark back, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if they've brought Rugrats back yet or not. That's one of my favorite ones. My grandfather used to call me Angelica all the time. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this box. And almost everything, if I haven't passed it on to somebody that actually watched the show, I typically kept everything from each one of my boxes. Like right now, I've got my Chucky, who is holding all of my art supplies. So he became quite... Um, quite useful and I do have my Tommy pin I haven't used it yet it's just kind of been sitting around for decoration in my art room but I do have that in the notepad so everything that is useful I have kept in here as far as crafting goes other than that it's a collectible that goes on my shelf with all of my 90s <coughs> Nickelodeon stuff so and, and that even with pop figures so and my daughter, I think, has stolen a few of my stuffed animals that I've gotten, but that's okay. Anyway, sorry for babbling on. I'm trying to make this short and sweet, but this is such an amazing box. And it typically comes in plastic wrap so that it does not get weathered by any means. I already removed that, but I have not seen anything on the inside. I don't know if I've seen a spoiler or not. I think I was good this time around and not opened up any emails for spoilers so hopefully i haven't seen anything i don't think that i have i don't know i don't remember but we'll be surprised either way it is by culture fly i will leave a link to the website in the description box below um i believe it's with my um account code or my account link I'm not affiliated with them by any means. I think I get like points um, anytime somebody uses my link and I think that they get a bit of a discount. I'm not for sure. Um, so yes, let's get this opened up. This is the fall slash, I'm going to call it the Halloween October box. So, alright, first of all, we're going to remove our spoiler card. We'll sit you on top of uh, uh, Harley Quinn Demon. All right, so we have some slime in the background. Looking pretty, pretty cool. All right, so the first thing we have are some Halloween, <coughs> <coughs> some Halloween cards. They are, um, they look like greeting, not greeting cards, but um, like Halloween cards, like happy birthday cards. But they're Halloween versions. So let's see what we have. We have Happy Halloween. Is there anything on the inside? Ooh, they're pop-up cards. Oh, here's Angelica. That's cool. Oh, and then we have another one. It says Happy Halloween with pumpkins. I'm dropping everything. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna say Happy Halloween. Okay, and there is, oh, Tommy, and I can never think of that other little girl's name, but they're so cute, and they're little pop-ups. But yeah, they're just like little like Halloween cards. Now it's got Reptar on it. And is that Tommy Dresses Reptar? I think it's Tommy. Yeah, that's Tommy Dresses Reptar. Or it could be Dill. I think it's Tommy though. <coughs> and then we have another one. We have four of these. And then there's Chucky Dresses of Vampire. So those are really, really super cute. Oh my God, those are so stinking cute. I love that. I don't think I'll send them to anybody. I might be able to make some kind of pop-up book with them, but you know, we'll figure that out. <coughs> oh my god, a lot of big items. Oh, a lot of big items. Let's start with this one. It is an a Rubik's Cube. Oh, my brother loves a Rubik's Cubes. And it's all real monsters. So you have Ickis, Crumb, 
Aura Monsters logo, um, all of them together, um, and then Oblina, who is my favorite, and then all three of them together, so that is, that is cool. That is awesome. I'm gonna have to let my brother try to do that. I've never been good at a Rubik's Cubes, um, but we might actually have to mess this one up one day, and I might actually have to try to do it. That, that's really cool, though. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, so next we have some pins. Now, these are from Rocco's Modern Life, and I can never remember what... <sighs> Gordon and... I don't know. These are from um, Rocco's Modern Life, and I do remember my I believe the foot is supposed to be the um oh like the weather guy not the weather guy the newscaster guy and i don't know what the other guy is he looks kind of like a ghost of of uh heifer so i don't know it's weird i like them though that's cute let's see <coughs> okay so save the shirt for last like always Okay, so let's, okay, we're not going to do anything that out. Okay, so we have a Ren and Stimpy. It looks like a Stimpy soap dish. Oh, and the packaging on these is so good. Good, good. I can't speak today. It's so good. Like, I love the packaging on these. They do take the time and effort. I don't use soap, but I'm sure I can find a home or just put it up somewhere I mean I'm sure at some point we can use this for decoration in the bathroom but yeah we don't use soap um, like a bar of soap we use the liquid soap but that's still pretty cool and I still have my Stimpy soap dispenser in the bathroom too so that's cool <coughs> oh my god all right so let's do this this is a Wren a Wren toothbrush cup. Oh lord. Oh lord. I can only imagine. The last thing we got from Wren and Stimpy, I think it was a Wren mug, and I wasn't too, wasn't too thrilled about it. Like it looked, I don't know. It looked weird. But Wren does kind of look weird though, so. Okay, so that looks even more creepy. <laughs> and it comes with a, a fake plastic toothbrush. You can put in his hand. Oh no. Will it not go all the way in? Oh no. I'm not going to force it right now, but it comes with a toothbrush. And you can put, I guess your toothbrush is in it. Like a toothbrush holder. I wouldn't use it as an actual, like, rinse cup. But yeah. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I can try to the toothbrush in his hand there's been a couple of times that I've not been able to get I think the cookie cutters I had I couldn't get the little the wooden uh, the wooden stamper and the cookie cutter so I don't know all right and the next thing we have here is an are you afraid of the dark notepad um, I haven't seen notepads in a while in boxes, so I'm really, really get cool, or really, really good, okay with getting another notepad. And I've been using notepads a lot lately, just to write some crafting ideas down. There's nothing special about pages. <coughs> but it has the clown from Are You Afraid of the Dark? So that's cool. And some magnets, maybe? I think. Yeah, so some Are You Afraid of the Dark magnets who they lift up. Yeah, so I guess to like save your page on the book, so that's pretty cool. Got some little magnets. So that's pretty cool. I like those. Those are really, really cool. <coughs> Alright, I'm not going to even force those back in there. I'm going to drop them in there. Alrighty, and the last thing we have are... The Angry Beavers, Diglett and Daggett and Norbert, and they're dressed in their Halloween costumes. Let's go ahead and pop these boys out because you know me, they're all gonna go in the box or the collection shelf anyway. Nothing around here ever stays in its box almost always. 
so they are dressed up as a thumb a thumb an Oxford it says a crawling something weenie what that's a thumb it's a finger I don't know <laughs> but that is I don't know it's so weird it's so cool though I love it but that is their Halloween costume God, I love that that's so amazing that's really really cool and then the last thing is the shirt and it is a half sleeve no it's a full or it's a short sleeve all real monster shirt I think that's what I saw yep and it looks like a comic book so that is really really cool it is Nickelodeon uh, the Nick box exclusive number one 75 cents I wish comic books cost 75 cents too and it is all real monsters that is amazing <sighs> that is cool and it is in a large this time thank god I can wear it all right so we have the shirt <clears throat> we have the vinyl of uh angry beavers i'm trying to go through everything we have the are you afraid of the dark notebook we have the rubik's cube of all our monsters we have the pen we have the wren toothbrush holder we have the skimpy soap dish and then we had the cards the uh holiday cards so that is it for this box i absolutely love this box i swear i think it gets better and better uh one two three four five six seven items in this box but that is not bad considering that you have two pens a notepad that comes with four um magnets and then you have four of the pop-up greeting cards so that is not bad in my opinion if you all are interested i will again leave my link in the description box below let me know what you guys think of this box let me know if you all have tried this box let me know if you also have this box let me know if you're interested in getting this box and we will see you guys on the next one bye